بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كلية المام الكاظم أقسام الديوانية قسم اللغة الإنجليزية المرحلة الرابعة أول محاضرة في الكورس الثاني Okay so today I'm going to talk about comments Okay you are familiar with comments and you know what is comment when you comment someone when you order someone so we are going to talk about comments with, with without subject and here comments with a subject so comments without subject we usually use comments without subject okay and sometimes we use comment we use comments with a subject without and with subject we begin with the most common category it is common okay here that differs from a statement you know statement when we have subject verb complement here in common we have no subject and we have imperative finite verb which is the base form infinitive verb okay without ending for number or tense for example play uh, play a game now for example or open the door or read this go out be quiet all these are what are comments we start with finite verb imperative finite verb otherwise the closed buttons of comments show the same range the same range and ordering of elements of sentence okay so we have sv member sv svo svc svoa they are the same but without subject so when you say jump so here it's what v but <coughs> this is what as if you would jump you jump okay be reasonable and you are reasonable you should be reasonable okay so be reasonable you should be reasonable yes svoa put it on the table okay as if when you can say you should put it on the table i will put it on the table so here we have this you can see this so the same but without subject what is important is this point the imperative verb however is severely restricted us to tense aspect voice and modality okay these four things tense aspect voice and modality okay we will come to them one by one with imperative with com commands there is no tense distinction or perfect aspect okay and only very rarely does the progressive form occur rare it is a rare case for example be preparing the dinner when he comes in okay only this case a passive is equally rare this is the voice okay so we talked about here what about tense and aspect we said that there is no tense distinction or perfect aspect only with continuous and then voice okay passive voice a passive is equally rare on rare except when the auxiliary is some other than B okay other than B not B for example get washed get washed so it is rare it is rarely that we have common with passive voice except with certain kind get dressed get changed get washed see these restrictions we have these restrictions with understandable incongruity incongruity it means here disagreement of combining why we have these restrictions because we have here what disagreement we, we there is disagreement what when we want to combine imperative with a stative non-agenative verb okay we'll combine imperative with stative non-agenative verb like sound louder okay this is anagrammatical we can't so with passive voice it is very rare with modal we said modality modal auxiliaries do not occur at all in imperative sentences and must go must must or should no or may might no we don't use modal auxiliaries with imperative and we are familiar with these things commands are apt to sound abrupt okay abrupt here it means uh, rude abrupt when we say that something rude something planet 
Okay. The commas are abrupt. Unless only in case that toned down by markers of politeness. When, for example, say, go out. Okay. Be quiet. Something rude when 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 you speak with someone, I say, for example, don't speak. Be quiet. Go out. Okay. How to how can you tone it tone it down? I mean, tone this utterance down. You can do so by markers of politeness. Markers of politeness, such as please. So you can say please eat up your dinner. Eat up your dinner. It's order command. Okay, it sounds what root. How to make it uh, acceptable? How to t tone it down? You can use markers like please. Okay, we have certain markers. I'm going to talk about them. First one, what you can use it please. Please eat up your dinner. Shut the door, please. Close the window, please. Okay. Even this only achieves a minimum degree of ceremony. A more tactful, we have another, so this is number one, please. A more tactful, okay, polite here, form of request. We can make it a form of, form of request. Can only be arrived at if one changes the comment into question or a statement. Okay, for example, will you shut the door, please? Will you shut the door, please? What does it mean, will you shut the door, please? It means I want you to shut the door will you shut the door please will you close the window and i want you to close the window okay will you go with me please i i want you to go with me or i wonder if you would kindly shut the door see i wonder whether you would mind shutting the door etc okay or could you please close the close the door so we have so many ideas or things that we can use to convey this uh, idea I mean the idea of softening the reducing okay softening the utterance reducing how to reduce the rudeness so this is number one command commands without a subject so and on uh, section 7.59 commas with a subject with a subject okay it's, it is little difficult than uh, commas without subject because we are commas without subject as I said it is familiar it is common but commas with subject is not common how when do we use commas with subject let's see it's impolite in the meaning of common that the empty subject of the imperative verb is the second person pronoun you. It's impolite. It is hidden. As I said, for example, said here, jump or be reasonable means what? You jump. You are reasonable. You, hidden, impolite, second person. Okay? This is with commons without subject. This is confirmed by the Akanas. How we can confirm this? How do we know? that the umpted subject is you maybe one of one of the students or, or learners or anyone person in general maybe one of them asks us uh, why is you why not he or she or something else we have two evidences here this is confirmed by the occurrence of you as a subject of following tag question entire question Make it as a tag question. Be quiet. Will you? See? We do, here, we don't have will he or will she. So, by ta number one, by tag question. Number two, by the occurrence of yourself. And of no other reflexive pronoun. So, number one, by tag question. And number two, by reflexive pronoun. Which is yourself. For example, behave yourself. Behave yourself. Not behave himself. Behave yourself. It means you behave yourself. You be quiet. You see? This is as if it is related here to commas without subject. Okay? This is related here. 
There is, however, a type of command in which the subject U is re what retained. So this is what what we are talking about: commands with subject retain, remain, yeah. D differing from the subject of finite verb is always what carrying stress. There is what stress different from the subject of finite verb. You be quiet. You see here, you, what is stressed? You have to stress it. You, be quiet. You, mind your own business and leave this to me. You see? You, mind your own business. How do we use you here? What does it mean when we use subject with comment? Let's see. These comments are usually a dominatory. Okay? In tone. So they are a dominatory what in tone it means here we have as if warming war sorry warning when we when you warn someone or something as if you you are warning someone you be quiet okay and frequently express strong irritation strong anger when you are angry you be quiet you stop talking you Go out, you close the door, you mind your own business, okay, you behave yourself. You see here, this is what a, 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 a dormitory in tone and express the trunk irritation. This is very important, this sentence. This is the meaning when you use you, when you use you with comment. As such, they cannot naturally be combined with markers of that We don't use markers of politeness with them why why we don't use markers of politeness with them why why we cannot say please you be quiet you know okay yes because it is what it is irritation okay it is irritation it is warning here i warn someone it is irritation they cannot be politeness politeness and tahdeeb al-adab such, as I said, such please you be quiet, we cannot say. Okay. Sometimes we can, we can use them here to single out two or more addresses, single out people. You come here, Jack, and you go over there, Mary. You, you see here, you come here, Jack, and you go over there, Mary. So we can use them here, second, and also it is possible with third person, with third person, for example, somebody open this door, somebody open this door, see, somebody open this door, everybody shut their eyes, Jack and Susan, Jack and Susan, stand over there, Jack and Susan, stand over there. You see, it is here we have confusion. It is easy to confuse the subject in these comments with a vocative noun phrase. We talked about vocative. Okay, so maybe some some of the students say that it is what here. It is vocative. Okay, but we have difference, two differences. First, where are the subject always precedes the verb here always. Here, somebody over this door. Everybody shut their eyes. Only here with comment. While the vocative is what is an element that can come final, medial, and initial position. You see? This is one. Number two, with vocative, when initially, when at the beginning, placed, has a separate tone unit, separate, full rights. Full rights. The subject here only what receives ordinary. West stress, only West stress. But here we have what? Four rights. Okay? We have examples. Let, let's see here. For example, here we have this vocative and subject. Mary, play on my side. Mary, play on my side. Play on my side, Mary. See, here we have rising at the end. Talked about this. But here, Mary. Lay on my side. 
Mary learns my side. But at the beginning, what? Mary. See? Mary. It is falling and rising. Mary. But here, Mary. 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 You see? You can practice this to know the difference between uh, vocative and subject. So the first one here, what? Vocative. But here, it's what? It is comment. Also, they can come together. We have co occurrence the possibility of co occurrence For example, here, John, you listen to me. So we can say, John, you listen to me. John, you listen to me. See? And also, we have comments with let. Comments with let. First person imperatives can be formed by Proposing it means preceding the verb let followed by a subject in where the re relative the objective case for example say let's all work let me have a look okay so it's co common with let let's the same applies to third person can use with third person let each man decide for himself if anyone shrinks from this action let him speak you see we can use we can use it with second person third person okay first person and sorry with first person and third person first and third person negative command comment sorry to negate second and third person imperatives when somebody as initial don't replacing asset assertive by non assertive forms when necessary or with someone does how to negate it don't open anyone's doors. You open the door. Don't you open the door. Someone open the door. Don't anyone open the door. You see? First person imperative, on the other hand, have two possibilities. Let's open the door. Let's not open the door. Just you, but not here. Or don't let's open the door. This is informal and especially in the British. Okay. And also we have third person imperative. Don't let anyone fool himself that he can get away with it. Don't let anyone. You see how to negate it. Comment. We negate it. Comment with second person, third person, and first person with let. And this normal sentence we, what we, I mean, second person. You we use what we use. Don't. We don't use let. We use that with third and first. Best ways of the last section is what best way best ways of imperatives. Best ways of or instant imperative, okay, is created by the addition of do, with the nuclear tone before the main verb. Do have some more money. Do have some more money. More sherry. <laughs> do let's go to the theater, okay. Do let's go to the theater. So here it is best ways of, okay. This way, here yeah, only note to B do and don't and less are used in isolation as elliptical commas when we have elliptical. For example, shall I open the door? Yes, do or no, don't. Shall we work the game? Yes, less. Yes, less. Okay, I will not tell, take so much. The next lecture I will complete the, the chapter. Thank you so much.